teen is killed while riding her bike to school. Deputies say an unlicensed driver hit the 13-year-old. And new at 4, New 6 has learned there are no safe sidewalks in that area. The crash happened yesterday morning on Homosassa Road. The student was on her way to Lake Marion Creek Middle School. New 6's Vanessa Ariza is following this story today. And Vanessa, such a sad story. You spoke to a spokesperson for the girl's family today. What did he tell you? Well, Ginger, the gentleman who I spoke with is actually the teen's neighbor. He says that the father is too distraught right now to talk. He said not only is he distraught, he's angry. He's angry that this woman who's charged with his daughter's uh, death didn't have a license. He's also angry that there was no safe area for his daughter to get to school. Rick Bowen spoke to us about 13-year-old Mariana Verado. She and her father would visit and cook dinner at his house next door. Very sweet. Uh, every time she'd come over here is always so nice. Um, she greatly missed. The teen, who was set to turn 14 in just two weeks, was hit and killed along Homosassa Road yesterday morning on her way to school. 25-year-old Michaela Cornell from Argentina is charged with her death. Uh, he had called his daughter uh, to check on her and uh, some strange woman answered the phone uh, saying that his daughter was uh, lying by the side of the road. Bowen was at the scene first, just a few blocks from Barato's home. He's very, very angry about uh, uh, the woman uh, that struck his daughter uh, not being uh, licensed number one. According to Polk County Sheriff Grady Judd, Cornell is here on an expired visa. She told deputies 80% of her windshield was covered by condensation that morning, obstructing her view and any sight of Barato. Barato lives fewer than two miles from school, which makes her ineligible to ride the bus. Sidewalks are around her middle school, but they end before they reach her neighborhood. The whole neighborhood is just, I, I don't know, shock and sorrow, mourning. And because Cornell is here illegally, Sheriff Brady Judd said that she will be placed in ICE's hands while they go through the whole court system and her charges. Now, as far as those sidewalks, we called representatives with Polk County asking them, how can we get results? How can we get the ball rolling to find a remedy for this? We'll tell you what is being done now after our phone call coming up tonight at 5 o'clock. But for now, live in Polk County, Vanessa Ariza getting results, News 6. Vanessa, thank you.